six feet apart. Everyone knows that the end of the, of the last school year was wild, but this year we will start things with a new and unique style. This time has come and we're finally back at school. Yay! We know that this whole idea is crazy and some people may even say it's outrageous. However, life must go ahead on regardless of whether or not a virus is contagious. This year we've taken some measures to help us get off to their safe start, even if it does not have to be from six feet apart. Masks. Masks are the first thing you'll notice that may seem a bit weird, but your friend is not wearing a mask to hide his new cool beard. It's important that you wear your mask over your mouth and your nose. This is the only place that it goes. The mask should be worn while walking through the hallway and even while sitting in your seat. Don't be silly, the mask is not to be worn on your feet. When not wearing your mask, keep it someplace specific. Your teacher will likely give you a, ma a mask storage idea. That's terrific. Gloves. Some people may be wearing gloves and that's okay too. The purpose is to help them stay safe while they do their job and help you. When you wear gloves, you may think that you're a mime. It's okay to practice those miming skills. You know, just can't do it all the time. For some people, opening doors with a glove may become the new norm. We can think of gloves as a part of a superhero uniform. Hand washing. Everyone will wash their hands often throughout the day because we know that our hands are a safe place where germs like to stay. If we cough or sneeze, we'll do it into our elbow pocket that's one of the easiest way for the germs to travel. So like ninjas will block it. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer stations are set up everywhere. You can just wait and see. Using them frequently to stay healthy will definitely be key. If you're outside playing and you can't get into a sink and some actual soap, please use a sanitizer before touching any equipment, even a jump rope. When using sanitizer, you must rub until dry because no one wants to be that drippy hand guy. <laughs> supplies. Normally, teacher begs you to share your supplies, but right now, things are different. Let's remember that, guys. This year, there are some things you shouldn't share, and we'll label those things and treat them with care. So make sure to follow the new prop. Make sure to follow the new procedures that have been put in place and keep all your stuff in your personal space. Social distancing. One of the biggest changes will be trying to stay six feet apart. We know it will be hard, especially at the start, but think of these tips and try to do your part. Here are some things that six feet may look like. For example, the length of an awesome double-seater bike the size of a tub is also an excellent way to measure or even three pirates chests lined up and measure three pirates chests lined up and filled with treasure a dolphin can also be six feet in length or a bodybuilder holding up a car and showing his strength just think of the six foot rule as creating your own personal bubble a perfect way to keep you healthy and not get into trouble We know it may feel strange to be here, but you have nothing to fear. Your parents, teachers, and anyone else who takes care of you are all educated on exactly what to do. Don't worry, this year we will still have loads of fun, but your safety will always be priority number one. Whether it's September, October, November, or December, this will undoubtedly be a school year that you will always remember. So try your best to listen and do your part. Then this unique back to school thing will be a breeze from the start.